Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. One of the aspects this job has that other jobs don't is the camaraderie that goes on. The deputies on our squad, we're all friends. We do stuff together on the weekends. The friendships that you develop coming out here facing life and death situations, you just can't duplicate that somewhere else. We care about each other's families and how each other's doing, and that's one of my favorite aspects. Uh, we're headed to one of the... We're headed to another unit's in pursuit of a vehicle right now. There's two occupants in it, and he's doing about 75, 80 miles an hour. We're about a mile away. We got the canine. Oh. It's going to come out right here. It's going to stop, stick them. See our other car? There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, copy. We're heading westbound. What is the street? Broadway, there's another vehicle on a uh, unit ahead of me. He's going to call them. 10. Westbound on Broadway, just passing 96th Street. And what unit is it? Westbound, just past 90th Street. Vehicles right up ahead. Uh, he's still running from the police. We're in excess of 100 miles an hour. He's blowing a couple red lights. He's going into the desert. He's in the desert. He's crashed. What's your location? Hold for the dog. Hold for the dog. Hold for the dog. Three, two, seven, one in custody, the other way across to the cemetery. I need a flashlight. Mine's in your car. Got the jam light? Where's the jam light? Look at that over here. You sure he went in here? I think he did duck down here somewhere here. Sure he did. Is that a grave site? That's freaky. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking he's gonna hide in these oleanders here. Get him. Show me your hands now! You can come on out. Keep your hands in front of you. I'm gonna cut this dog loose. You understand? Come on out. 
Put your hands over your head. Turn out on your stomach. On your stomach. Stand him up. Are you doing anything? No, man. What are you doing I, out here? Sleeping? I, no, man. I, did, I, I need to go off, man. I, I do want you to go. I know what you're going for, man. Okay, I didn't go through his pockets, but there's no weapons. He was right in here. Need to check for stashing. That's 10 4. You hold him for a minute? Yeah. Well, we chased him through the neighborhood. He ran a bunch of stop signs. He's doing 100 miles an hour. Crashed in the ditch over there. Uh, we got one of them in custody right away. The other one ran into the cemetery over here. And uh, we got our canine over here. And canine sniffed him down and found him hiding in the bushes. And we were able to take him into custody without a big fight. The vehicle that they were chasing was uh, stolen. And once again, they thought they were going to get away from the police. And that just don't happen. What happened, Jack? What was that? How did he crash? He, I guess he thought the road was here and just turned him. <laughs> he turned right off into the ditch. Yep. <clears throat> well, that's good. That ended it. Yep. You caught that guy right out before he got too far? Yep. Right out here. Did he fight you? Uh, no, he had his hands up in the air. So I think uh, I think he realized the game was up when he came. He's running stop signs and everything back there. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's... yeah it wasn't slowing down a bit. Oh, great job! I'm kind of glad they crashed before we hit some major traffic. Yeah, he's heading for that main road up there. Yeah, that's a big ditch he fell into. Hey, you were the passenger, right? I didn't hear you. Yes. You were the passenger? Yeah. What were you thinking? Why is he running for us? For a, I had a warrant for a, for a traffic. I had a, he ran. I'm, there's nothing I can do, man. I'm scared, man. Was you trying to get out? Yeah, I tried to open the door a few times. So the light kept coming on the car. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Nobody gets away from Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. That's a good thing. Right now we're going to a domestic call, family fight. Apparently a uh, child called in and said that her mother and her boyfriend are fighting. Pretty familiar with these people. We've gone on several family fight calls with them in the past few months. Uh, it's supposed to be physical. And there's really no details on the as of what occurred, if it was, uh, they were hitting each other or throwing things. I'm being weighed down at 600 South Exception. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. Hey, Trevor, open up the door, police. She'll tear up everything. She won't bite her. I don't care. She won't bite her. Gretchen, come on. Come on, Gretchen. Gretchen, come on. Inside, please. Gretchen, Gretchen, inside, please. You don't see from right there. Yes. All right. What's going on, man? Well, she and I have been off and on. I've told her many a times I don't want her around no more. Um, she don't have anywhere better to put the kids, either here or a crack house. I keep letting her back in. Uh, Sunday, we she left, 
and what happened just, tonight? The why I'm here tonight. Well, tonight I come home, find out the bathroom's been flooded. Nobody's done anything about it. Okay. They're destroying my house piece by piece, just because. Who this out here? Who did this? You know what, Travis? I put this all out here. You know what the it, problem it, is? You, I've been here. This is like the third time I've been here. Right. In, in like the past three weeks. What is the deal? If you're having that ma that many problems with her, get her out. I can't afford a restraining order. Did you got to deliver it. You know, it's another $45. Did you lay your hands on her tonight? Yeah, I did. What'd Just like do? she did me. What'd you do? She uh, coming after me, you know, and I asked her to get off me, and she come back on me, and, you know, I grabbed hold of her. She was biting me, and just... Okay, let me see. What'd she bite you at? Oh, hell, here, here, here. And why did she bite you? We were, just, we were tangled up. Okay. What do you mean, tangled up? As, it, was just, with her? it was just a mutual mutual clash, you know. Hey, Travis, I'm having a hard time believing that you're you're the complete victim here. Well, no, I ain't got to say I'm a complete right victim. All right, when's the last time you were arrested? Um, well, when's the last time you arrested me? Right here for the same thing. Yeah, pretty much for the same thing, huh? It's getting pretty old, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of it. And, I mean, you know, I'm sitting here and... Trying with the best of my heart to support four people with one people income. Cool, four twelve, four two. You know, I'm still making the same money I did before I met her and keeping a house by myself. Now I'm supposed to feed her and her kids, and it's totally getting to me, and I get no respect for it. We'll see what Bradle says over there. Basically, he told her to get out the house. You don't want him here anymore. She said, no, I'm not going anywhere. Therefore, he tried to physically take, put him out the house. Okay. Bottom line. So that's why he got physical because he tried to throw him out the house. She bit him or something up there. Yeah, after she, he grabbed her. So that's it, basically. So okay. I'm going to talk to Scott about it, Peach Rack, and see what we come up with. Okay. So yeah, because she has nowhere to go. And How long has she been living here with you? For about six months. He bite? Oh, yeah, he will. Oh, okay. Well, I'll stay away then. Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead and put him down so we can go take care of business. Not only can. Wrenching the back some books. Yeah. All right, let's get any property on you. Thank you, earrings. Gretchen. I just got my house keys right here. Okay. You got your ID with it? No, I don't. So what, she's going off scot-free again, huh? No, not at all. Hey, let me arrest for domestic violence, right? Yeah. Let's see what happens. Ciao, buddy. Stinky situation to me. He wanted her out of the house. He grabbed a hold of her, started throwing her things out. Yeah. Carried her out. out. She kind of bit him in self defense. Yeah, and she. Then, uh, he where pushed. did this skunk come from? I don't know. I have no idea. Apparently from Arkansas. She told me what the little boy told me, what the little girl told me, and what you told me. Based on the marks on your chest, she had bit you. She said she bit you because she had to try to get away from you. You said you had physically grabbed her, picked her up, and tried to throw her outside the house, correct? That's right. That's right. She don't live there anymore. It's it's. But she's on a lease, correct? So she has and a, I just as much right. To I cannot as you take do. her off. I cannot take her off. I've already checked on that. We're just and gonna forcibly I pick cannot her up. take her We're off. Just gonna forcibly pick her up and take her out and kick her out. Okay, then what can I do? You know, I I understand what your problem is, but not to mention you went about it the theft. wrong way. And on top of that, our our hands are tied in a situation like this because it's domestic violence. We can't just write you a ticket. You know, send you on your way. The first time you're a victim, when it goes on three, four, five, six, seven times, as many times we've been back here, you're not a victim anymore. That's because just I that's cannot, just stupid. I cannot afford an order of protection. So I keep an eye on you, make sure you don't get hurt. You slide down there. Slide that. Yes, something. Like Hopefully, with this. We'll won't have to come out here too often. Is it all domestic violence every time we come out here? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Well, hopefully now he's thinking in the back of that car. Maybe he'll think twice next time he decides to push her. I've been out here about five and a half years now. 
really Detroit. enjoy working the streets. Really enjoy contacting the people in the neighborhoods. I like to get to know people from both the older generations and the younger. And the older t to kind of get an idea and an understanding of what the neighborhoods were like and, and where these people are coming from. And I like to contact a lot of the kids from the younger generations to try to help them. Okay, right now we're en route to a domestic violence call. Uh, the reporting party is apparently the daughter of the victim. Uh, the reporting party stated that she found her mother bleeding from the head when she arrived at home, and the mom, I guess, is lying down on the floor at this time. So we're out there. Find out if the uh, suspect's still on scene. Charlie 1697. There's potential for violence, so we have to be really careful in our approach. Here? There you go. No, he's the only one. It's your ex boyfriend and he's gone. It he's was your ex boyfriend? Yeah, and he's gone. So. Fire? Yeah, fire. Charlie 16. Yeah, we're all firing. Who's uh? Fire is going to come and check you out. Let me see your head. Rolling in. All right. I'll just look over that way to your right. Well, I'm working with you, sir. Ma'am, could you put the cigarette out because the uh. Paramedics are going to ask you to. Okay, so he's. What's going on? Uh, it looks like a domestic violence. She's got um, bleeding from the head. Can't see the wound, but she's got a lot of bleeding from the side over here. A laceration or something. I didn't come over here to see my kid, and he thinks he can do it. I have my book. My boyfriend's right here. Well, what do you lived in Missouri? What do you What do you hit you with, now? His hand. His this hand. Hmm? You bleeding from your ear? Or? I don't know what I'm bleeding from. Okay. What did you get hit in the head? I don't know. Did right he strike you in the head? He just kept hitting me. Okay. I don't know what I'm bleeding from. Okay. I just shoot. It's a little dead, so. There you go. What's your name, man? Yeah. Name? Sir, can I talk to you? Were you here? Yeah, I was upstairs asleep. Okay, what happened? I just woke up to screaming and the kids were all crying and stuff. Came out the bedroom door and saw them fighting. I just went past him and called. So he knew you were here? Yeah, he knew I was here. Okay. You don't know exactly why they started fighting or anything like that? Nah. Did you see? He was here on the pretense of seeing the kids. It was supposed to be just a peaceful visit, and he was going to go. Okay. And I woke up to that. So, Did, so you saw him striking her? Mm -hmm. Did you see him with any object in his hands? Or? Nothing in his hand. I just saw him fighting. Did the other officer get your information from you? Yeah. He said they fought upstairs, so I'm going to go upstairs and check around. Did you see the blood on the wall here? Yeah. Blood down there. Probably might be coming right down the stairs. Yeah. There's a lot of blood around here well, for a little head. fight. That was a, she, yeah. Her head was we got blood all, all over the walls here. Yeah? We We're going to go down and talk to the uh, suspect in custody right now. Let's see what his story is. You're being arrested for assault domestic violence. Okay, do you understand that? Yep. You'll be read your rights and, and given an opportunity to uh, to make a phone call when you're down at the station. Sure, you don't want paramedics to look at you? Check your knee out. You don't want do you you don't want them to check your knee out? And let's go. Close the door. Okay. Who doesn't want paramedics? Might, they, you might want them to check out his hand to see if he hurt his hand while he was, while he was hitting her. Him. Well, if he doesn't say he doesn't want it, he's a tough guy. Okay. I'll let you do the interview on him. I started it. You already told me what happened. I know. He didn't do nothing wrong. 
I understand you're doing this. No, my kids right. are telling me, oh, Mom, you started it. No, he didn't do nothing wrong. I started it. Okay. Well, you he didn't, didn't do nothing wrong. Regardless, you're the one that got beat up. You're the one that's bleeding. Got all over your head. Well, I hit him. I started it. Well, he doesn't have any injuries, so that pretty much I started it. Hurt. He didn't do nothing wrong. Can you please take him out? No. No, we can't. You guys are married. We don't have, we don't have any Well, he didn't do nothing wrong. Well, oh. That's why he's going to jail. Yeah, he's, he's definitely going to jail. You already told jail. us what happened to your daughter. You already told us what happened. He's going to jail. He didn't do nothing wrong. Can you please check him out? No. Cecilia, no. according to domestic violence, okay? The domestic violence laws in Arizona are very simple. He didn't do simple. nothing wrong. He's I, go I, I provoked it. It doesn't I matter. I started it. it doesn't, I started it. It doesn't matter. He didn't matter. do nothing wrong. It doesn't matter. The only th I, I started it. I provoked it. The only situation that we have then, if that's going to be the case, is that he's going to go down and we're going to wait a little while and then bring you down as well. You want to go to jail? So you'll both go to jail. He's but he's definitely going to jail. He's he's definitely going. There's no changes in that. You think it'd make your children feel better for you both to go to jail? Well, well you asked know. them that because they told me to come out here. Why? Because they said that I that I got their dad in here. Well, then take him out and then I'll go in jail. Check him out, and then I'll go in. Well, that's not an option. He's going to jail regardless. The majority of the time we respond to domestic violence incidents, um, it's usually a repeat performance. Um, people very rarely have one incident of domestic violence. It's usually uh, a history of domestic violence within a family or within a relationship that continues to manifest time and time again. And this is a perfect example. they do and it held my interest until I was old enough. When I became 21 years old I tested for the Glendale Police Department and started working for them and worked for them for two and a half years and then came out to the Mesa Police Department where I've been for five years now and uh, been here ever since. We've got a unit that's behind a stolen vehicle a couple miles out now and it sounds like the vehicle's pulling into an apartment complex and the officer's advising it looks like they're going to foot bail on him. We're about a mile and a half out. We're going to see if we can help him out. Copy. Uh, 5 copy. Copy. The vehicle that ran from this officer has now been located in an apartment complex up here on Main Street. Uh, they found it abandoned, and now they've got a unit that's located the driver. Uh, just east of the, con the complex, just east of the abandoned stolen vehicle. So we're going to go up there and uh, see if we can help get him into custody and maybe set up a perimeter and lock him in to a, an area so we can't go ahead and take him into custody. Officer just put out an emergency call. 913 5440 East Main Town, 805 Stop resisting! Put your hands on your back! I'm not fighting! Hey, I'm not fighting! Yes, you are fighting! Put your hand back there. Do it now. Do it now. Okay, okay. I'm not fighting. I really have everything. Do not move. Do it now. Okay, okay. Hey, please cover me. My do not move. Please don't hurt me. Okay. Side. Okay. I have emphysema. I don't want to fight. I just have a real bad time breathing. Yes, just get him out of the doorway. Okay. Uh, I'm not fighting. Stop it. Stop doing it. I'm not doing it. Honest. Uh, cover, okay. the, cover that door with him. We don't know. We need to clear that room. 
My cuffs are laying on the corner. Oh, this helps, sir. I'm not going to struggle. You've been struggling since we got here. I can't breathe in my... Do not get up. Please. Do not get up. Do not push on my back and I won't, please. I swear, I... Oh, this helps, sir. I'm not going to struggle. I'll just keep this channel 10 3 for now. Yeah, I copy that thing. Here at room 110 at the Western Yeah, it's 10-4. Copy that. You copy that? Yes, Okay. Where'd you guys find him at? I came up here and Duke had him at gunpoint. Through the window. He didn't see me on this corner. He opens the door. I grabbed him, and I grabbed him. He started fighting us. Mike sprayed him. It didn't affect him at all the first time. Sprayed him again. Still didn't affect him. He got up. Both of us arrested him on the ground. He managed to get up and run inside the con in, in the apartment. Tackled him in there. Brought him back out because we didn't know who was in the back room. Got a bunch of dope looks like on the bed in there. So then he continued fighting us here on the ground. No, you all right? Yeah. It's coming at the passenger door. 10-4, who's in the area of 4740? He's probably looking for that passenger. Not Charlie, just the green, not Charlie. I think that's all. So, who do you need to get one? Somehow, when I looked in the room, I kicked me in the throat. 10-4, we get a couple more units back on that way. Yeah, he tried. He wanted back in here real bad for some reason. I don't know why. Do you have an ID on him? Uh, Walter, I didn't have time to do that. We've got some ammunition there and some drugs and drug paraphernalia. It looks like a bunch of credit cards that don't belong to... Uh... Oh, here's a gun case here. Go ahead and secure this until we know what's going on. Here's going to be laying on the floor here. What he's trying to get to. He's got a. Uh, where, where on the floor was it? Just lying right there next to the chair. That's what he was. Cause... He got up here. Mike was trying to clear the building. He's on the floor, right? I chased him in here and tackled him right by that chair, and he was reaching over that way. So, so he's trying to he's get got the gun. 38. 38 special. <laughs> Looks like we got several credit cards with the different people's names on it. It's probably all going to be stolen credit cards from this guy. We've got a. We're, we haven't searched the room, really, but we've got uh, firearm ammunition, firearms. We've got guns, drugs, stolen credit cards, stolen cars, and an extremely violent and upset suspect who didn't want to go to jail tonight. The room's clear. There's nobody inside, so I need to go over where the stolen cars at because there's a bunch of property in there, and I don't know what's in the car. So, so. What do you need? Why don't you stay here? Yeah, I need at least two guys stay here. One's he's got the driver. He's going to stay here with the driver. Yeah, I need at least maybe one guy, if not two, stay here with the room. And I want to run over to the here with the room. I'm going to run over to the 509. Yeah. Get a, we'll get a CST and route over to you. Are you okay right now for for this scene right here? I mean, is there anything else we need to do no, here? No, that's All it. Right, so I'm, just I'm pretty much figured one. out the passenger. We're probably, he's gone, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Stolen car here and see what they need any help over there and Take a look at that. It looks like they bailed out right up here at the beginning of the complex. This it looks like you may have some burglary. That's what I'm thinking. Back here. Yeah, it looks it's like just a matter of time and going through the property. I'm waiting for the CSC to get here to televisions and purses and backpacks yeah. and get a what a pipe yeah. torch well, up there. Well, the driver's got a warrant too. Does he? Yeah. So as soon as I jump the fence and yell, identify myself as police. He takes off running for that room. And once we get over there, we end up getting to a, once he finally come out of the room, we get into a fist fight with him. So we end up using pepper spray, and that didn't work. So the pastor got away, but we don't really care about him right now. So. Yep, right on. We so got the bad guy. We're good to go. I I love the desert. The originally I'm from the, the Midwest, from Chicago area, and uh, once I came into the army, the army kept sending me to one desert after another. Uh, after I got out of the uh, the military, or when I knew that I would leave in the military I decided that I wanted uh, someplace uh, dry and sunny and uh, the, the desert is just a, a gorgeous spot to, to live we're going to uh, a residential area the call is a, a check welfare apparently there's a black bear up in a palm tree and a bunch of people were gathered around it trying to throw rocks at it to get it to come down it's right around the corner here there's another unit there. They've got the spotlight on uh, 
on the tree so that they can see what's going on. And we're just rolling up on it now. Fishing game's coming down. We just checked with the zoo and it's not a zoo bear. <laughs> a bear in a palm tree in Arizona. Go That's right. In, in the middle of uh, the middle a series of, of apartment <laughs> complexes. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know where mom is. All right, that's, <laughs> well, that's, that's what I'm wondering because, you know, it's really odd to have a bear right here. So I'm really wondering how here. We'll try to get the ladder over here, I guess. I'm going to get up there and see if I can maybe just noose it out of the tree. Somebody was asking what what happens when it, if it gets out. It's going to come down. It's going to tree again as quick as it can. A little okay. bear like that's not going to be a real, it's not going to be a safety hazard. I mean, you guys can do a good job of keeping everybody back in. Anyway, okay. It's not going to be biting people. It's going to be running like crazy to try to, try to, try to find a play, place behind it. If it comes out of here, it's going to go right back up another tree. Okay. Oh, probably famous last words, but that's been my experience. Well, you're going to go up there and try to noose it. I'm going to go up and try to noose it. Liz, Corey, you guys wonder if we can just have like a, just a soft perimeter. Okay, if he does come out, he's going to want a tree again. But we just we just stay this way, so if he does come, we can scare him back this way for a tree. Ron and I will go for the, the front of the... Well, he's well just watch the there. crowd. Brian, I'd rather have you stay close by. Just you know, I don't care if you have to do a ricochet off the ground. Okay. Let's scare it back. Outstanding. Around so you don't have so far to go vertically. Come on, folks, a little elbow room. Corey, could you give me? Can we give? We need like another tenth. Five ten feet. Okay, just back to about the other side of the sidewalk. Give the fire department a little bit of room. With this cage up on there, you want to bring him down. Got it. Okay. So just keep his teeth away from my. Watch those claws. Watch the claws. Watch the claws. Watch the claws. Watch your hands, Liz. 
You're all right. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Okay, I'm going to just stand here right okay. back up here. Put it on here. Put it on here. Okay. Watch your fingers. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. They're just showing up everywhere. I suspect they're either orphaned because the conditions have been so bad. It's been dry for a couple of years, and really dry conditions. So they're either orphaned. Her mom just kicks them loose and says, "Sorry, I can't take care of you anymore." And so they're just out on their own. So. You think you're going to top that one tonight? No. Think you're going to top that one this week? I could. You think you could? I could. I don't know. Tucson. Anything could happen in Tucson. Oh yeah, sure. I started looking for a job whenever I got out of the Air Force. And uh, I started as a reserve with the city of Tucson just to feel if that's what I wanted to do. And uh, as a result, hey, uh, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, there's nothing more than rewarding than uh, being a police officer. <laughs> We uh, responded to an individual who's been shot, uh, 5,000 block South Country Club, are requesting meds ASAP. We have people running from the scene. We're going to see if we can get in from this side. Okay, here we are. Okay. Let's go see what's going on. Is she all right? Dad gummit. Where are we taking her? Yes. Okay. One Lincoln North. Let's have meds 1018 to the south uh, entrance of the complex. We have a child that's been hit. Core meds has been advised to move in on the south side of the parking lot. 10 4, move them in. 213. Block this off. Block this off. Nobody gets in. I'm Lincoln King. You got her? Hang in there. Oh, you want me to take her? Yeah. You're going to be all right. Okay, you'll be okay, okay? Okay, okay. You got her? Okay, yeah, throw it through that. Come on. Where do you hurt your stomach? One med unit at her. Okay. You have, uh... Probably one you can hurt me Yeah. You got blanket? Yeah. You need a blanket? Uh... Okay. Got it. Cover her up. Wrap it around her. I'm going to put it right underneath you. Okay. Hang in there, sweetheart. Okay. You're going to be all right. Yeah, right. Okay, meds is coming 23 now. Every Med broadcast of a suspect vehicle is going to be a small neon red or blue in color left in east section southbound on Country Club. 214. You're all right. You're okay. Get them all. Right. No, I need a snack. You're going to see. Until 5 coming round. Five six ten four. Thank you fifteen. This is one. What is your way up in the There, right here. Get her up in there. Okay. Oh, oh. On the side. Okay. On the side. Right here. 
We're down to shooting children now. Crime scene tape. We're going to tape off the area. We got two down in the car. Looks like they're 10-7. John, can you get that bag set up for me? I have an idea on him. Danny, run the... Is this clear? Is that clear? Negative. We only have one more suppression. The only suppression you're in route is this 10. The lady, the number three lady over here is the one who saw the car, but she didn't see anybody shooting. All she said, she heard shots, she came out here, the car was backing out and it took off. So we need to go find her because she disappeared on me. We, we got another witness says he went up there and made a U-turn and then came out. We have uh, three victims uh, of gunshot wounds. Uh, one being a child and uh, one being an adult male and a uh, adult female. Uh, other than that, we're we're pretty unsure of what's going on. We got to talk to uh, witnesses so, and see if we can find out what was the cause of all this. What did you see when you got here? Melee. Everybody running back and forth. Oh yeah. yeah. Where where was the little girl? By the stairs over there. Uh, yes. There was another lady that had her. I talked to her. She, as a matter of fact, uh, she's going to be wait to, She's waiting to be interviewed. Okay. She's sitting right over there uh, but, next uh, to the thing. Uh, she was the only one that was moving. Yeah. The other, I guess, her parents were both down. So the, the baby's parents. Yeah. yeah. How old is the baby? She's uh, not a baby. She's probably five. You think? She was talking to me. So yeah. four or five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the backyard. We have some shell case. We have some shell case. No, we we don't. Uh, we st we still have the outstanding number three, who actually seen the individual running from here, and jump into a car, and uh, and high speed uh, exit here. Okay, where where she is, we don't know. I uh, know I'm being told that she's a slim, uh, wearing she's heavy set. She's heavy set, according oh. to. Uh, uh, Kevin, she's heavy set. Okay, okay. So keep that in mind. Then I'll go that way. Looking for okay. okay. Well, I was kind of watching her apartment to make sure she didn't leave. You want to keep an eye on Okay. Yeah, All right. So. Not more, much more we can do here. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, that's it. That's all yeah, other than that, that's all we have. Kathy say she saw some, something running or she's just saying something? We pulled up. Yeah. yeah. Scattering. Yeah. Uh, Kathy, is there anything else that uh, you need from me? I don't think so. We have the detectives on scene now, and they're basically taking over the investigation. Okay. Uh, my the last word I got is the uh, the little girl. It looks like she's going to make it. She's in surgery right now, so if God's willing, she'll pull through. Good. I'm glad so, to hear that. Okay. One thirty-two in Bush. I got him at gunpoint. Okay. Gunpoint. One thirty-two in Bush. Covers code three. Okay. 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 Okay.
he's trying to get away right now. Copy plate. We gotta get this guy stopped before he hurts somebody. He's trying to get away from us up here. He could be pretty dangerous. One Charlie four six. One Charlie four six. One Charlie four six. One Charlie 46. One Charlie 46. Okay, the vehicle's um, northbound on Price coming up on University. Looks like he's trying to get away from me. Shut the car. Shut it off. Shut it off. Spread your arms out. Spread. Get on the ground. Easy. <laughs> Spread your arms out. Trying to get up. Easy. Can I talk to you? Go ahead. You saw the accident? Go for one one three seven two one a cut. Need a motor? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna need a motor. <laughs> you saw the accident? All right, so you followed him too? Yeah. All right. Best friend, Pastor. But the guy told me it's stupid. Why he told me it's stupid? Don't know. Okay? The guy is a stupid A1. Why he told me? Okay? Have a seat. Right here. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Go ahead. Okay, I reopened that case instead of saying I'm trying to dupe that other one to it. So when I reopen it again, your feet. This will be a witness to the accident. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and do me a favor. Just pull in there. I'll come with you. Come over. They want to hang out here. We'll yeah, I'm having them going into here. We're going to talk to the witness and make sure they got statements going, see what they saw. Hi. What happened? What did you see? We were going south on Dobson at mm -hmm. Main in the right-hand lane. Next thing we hear a crash, you know, and the brown or that white truck was heading west on uh, Main, Street. Main Street and just ran right into a motorcycle. And that's yeah, definitely the truck? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, I saw the license plate. When, and then what happened is the motorcycle went down on the ground. There was also some pedestrians right there. And uh, the guy on the motorcycle, he, he crawled for a minute, then got up and started to walk around to the, to the driver's door there. And the driver opened the door. Next thing we know, he just closed the door and just sped right through the intersection. And we were on, on the phone on 911 to your dispatch. And, and then I, I was looking for the license plate and gave him the license plate number. Okay. Yeah. Did he give you guys statements? Yeah, we've got oh, it right there. Him, okay. Yeah. That guy? Yeah, there's already officers over there too. Okay. Yeah. Right. You have a. Uh, he's gonna give you that information. Thank you very right, much. Thank you. How you doing, sir? Okay. You got ran over. Uh, he hit me from behind. What happened? I stopped at the red light, and the guy came up behind me. I mean, come screeching up behind me and hit me right in the back of my bike, and knocked me off of it, and destroyed my bike. Yeah, it looks like it's a mess. Did uh, did he look like he was going to stop and talk to you, or did, was he just trying to get no, away? No, I, uh, after he hit me, I crawled out from underneath my bike, and I motioned for him to get out of the truck, and he wouldn't do it. So I walked around and opened his door, and I was going to pull him out. 
and he threw it in the drive and took off. They said that, that he almost hit two other people that were walking across the crosswalk. Yeah, it, it felt like he said he heard it. The victim said he heard it. I, I Tire screeching. He just kind of just braced himself. It's like, uh oh. He's getting ready. He's getting his, his bikes in the auto trader to get uh, to sell it because it was getting too dangerous. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Him and his wife decided that he was going to get rid of his bike because it was getting too dangerous, so he had it on the. I guess. Auto traders. I guess he got rid of it, huh? Yeah. One of the hardest things about this job is uh, when you go into the homes where they're having domestic problems, and you know a lot of times you know it could be drugs and alcohol that are causing those problems, and uh, you know you've got kids in the home and there's nothing the kids can do to get out of the situation they've kind of got to live with it and and cope with it and you, you know you can see the stress that that causes them and unfortunately there's not a lot you can do about that we just got dispatched there's a uh, stabbing that apparently occurred up the street we don't know exactly where it happened or where the uh, victim is but uh, the suspect took off in a white vehicle so we're gonna get up there and uh, see what's going on let's see if we can figure out where it's at here and we have no further description on the suspect other than the white car. Sam 58, Sam 39. Okay, check the canal call. Yeah, I got it, yeah, thanks. Did it happen right here? Hey, guy. Put some pressure on his belly, dude. Get the pressure on it. Get some pressure on his belly. 4 27. Get medics here, code 3. And uh, they're probably going to need a pair of I'm trying to keep in contact. They're on their way. You look at his eyes. Don't tell him. Okay. 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 Give me at least uh, three more units here. Yes, you are, dog. I got stabbed. Man, come on. How much has he had to drink tonight? Come on. I do it. I do it for work. All I did was get out of the car, and they went to lock me in. I thought it got punched. Okay, hold on, hold on. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. I need you to go over and stand there with them because the fire department's here. They're going to need a lot of room. Can you go stand over there with them? Keep talking to me. Stay conscious, okay? I know you will. Hey, dog. Blake, blood does not fade. You gotta get what? You gotta get taken care of. And you'll be back. You guys are probably gonna need a landing zone. You guys are probably going to need a landing zone. No, we're going to go. Go straight down to desert. Hey, don't go down. Hey, you're my boy. Darren, Darren, take the witnesses, move them back there, start getting statements and FIs on them. Got a missile racing on this side. Okay. Oh, no, okay. Okay. They're going to start getting statements and wit and identify those guys. Jason's working with those two. I need to have the next person in. Is going to have to bring some crime scene tape. I saw a dude go back like this. I just saw him. They, were all, they were all still in the car. Yeah, he never got out of the car. The guy never got out of the car. It was a. Uh, I tell you exactly what the car was. Had a little ball on the t on the antenna. That's why it, it looks <laughs> like a jumbo jack ball or what? Yeah, exactly. Okay. White car. It was a uh, Chevrolet Caprice. Nobody got I the think, plate though, right? 
I, 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 as soon as he turned know, around, he got stabbed. As soon as he turned around, blood was coming out of his guys. First, I thought he got stabbed because he went like this. Okay. I just goes like this. Front. I was like, he got stabbed. He turns around and blood just comes out of his face. Oh, he tried my How many guys were there? I like, thought like I told that guy. Like I, yeah, two in the front. We I, got, I didn't look at the back. Hispanic, white, black. Um, say, no, they weren't black. They it was just one that I didn't even pay attention. Hey, I'm not telling you, but I think they were his thing. I'm not bad. They were then, not black. They and then they not, went out this way here? That way. That way? They, they, they were heading this way. way. Went straight out that way. <laughs> okay. But as soon as he turned around, blood was coming out. I thought he got jacked in the nose. And he goes, no, man. Neither one of you guys would be able to recognize yeah, him. I, I cannot. Again. I swear uh, to God, no I cannot way. identify I didn't. I just thought, I saw them kind of hitting. I saw him get his, you know, I saw the blood. I thought he just got hit in the face. And then it after there was like blood all over him, we were like, you know, what's wrong? And we and looked they, and, they were yelling. I'm like, what, what? I was like, I was like, I got hit with brass and stuff. He's no, man, my waist. He had a little spot right here. And I lift up his shirt. He <laughs> How did he get from the parking lot over to the door? He's, he's not his fault. <laughs> No idea who they've seen him before. No, no, I never seen him before. Never. How did they come about talking to him? Okay, this is what it was. We came back from another friend's house. I came out. We were letting this girl right here in the green shirt lives out. Then he was letting her out on the this side. Got out. Boom! I just saw a car pull up. He started talking. I thought it was security. I live in Rancho Marietta. What did Mick say? Did he say, "Oh, these are some friends of mine," or what? No, I I, I wasn't paying attention. I don't. I was talking to you know, them. You know, uh -huh. you because. Know, and uh, next thing I know, I, I just look over and make a oh. The reason nobody knows what the guy looked like is because nobody got out of the car. That's why the stab wound is so low. Because he leans down and, and have, they have some type of conversation while they're getting this other person out of the car. Somebody in the car punches him in the face and stabs him from the open window. Interesting. So. Drive by slashing? Yep. It's about the size of it. This is Sheriff Joe Arpaio, Maricopa County, Arizona, in front of a jail uh, that uh, is one of the largest in the United States of America. We have 7,280 prisoners in a jail normally every day. Uh, the sheriff runs the jail. I've been in office eight years, just got reelected, so I will continue to serve the people of Maricopa County. How you doing, Mr. Blum? What are you doing? Being processed? Going home, sir. Uh, you're leaving, Going being discharged. Home. How long have you been in? Uh, about three months. Tents? No, upstairs. Oh, you're out making bond? No, I'm finished. Violation time. Oh, you did your time? Yes, sir. Why are you doing them in the tents? Why were you up here? Uh, you a bad guy? Security risk. No, escape risk while I was young, sir. Oh, you escaped? Yeah, one time when I was young. Not You're escaping not, not now? Yes, sir. You sure he's legitimate? And I'm not, he's coming, and I'm not huh? coming back. Huh? And I'm not coming back, sir. <laughs> Read his thing. Make sure he has a, doesn't have a phony discharge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, huh? Thanks a lot. All right. Usually three, four hundred people come through this a day. Three, four hundred. They're all going to be on a webcam. Now they can wave to their wives and they say, see, honey, I just got busted. I'll be late tonight. Or they can way to their employers or uh, whoever they want to wave to. The whole world got 10 million hits one a day, 10 million around the world. So this is controversial, it's never been done before. Uh, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, if you're arrested, everybody can see it. We have television in here every day anyway. They, they camp outside, so what's the difference whether you take the picture of the guy over there or they take the picture here? This is the food today, they always try to uh, tell me that uh, the bologna is green. We give them bologna, say, to half a million dollars a year, switching from hot meals to bologna sandwich. But I don't know. I don't know if there's anything wrong with this. We bake that. We go pick the fruits and vegetables. Here's the bread. Here's the, uh, here's the bologna. So what's wrong with that? Good bologna. So this is their lunch. These people are rested. When they stay in here for 18 hours or so, they eat sandwich. But the, the 7,282 people in this jail, think of that. 
We broke our records last week, 7,282. We only had room for 5,600. So I'm glad that we put the tents up seven years ago. That takes care of the overflow. My own guys don't shake hands with me. I got the prisoners shaking hands. You vote for me last yes. week? You did? Yes. You voted for me? Yeah, but I was in jail, so I don't know. If you can't vote in. You voted in jail? You can't vote in this jail. I don't know. Hablo espanol? Uh, I speak Punjabi. I'm from India. Oh, you're from India? Yeah. How you doing, sir? Where are you? Good, sir. How you doing? How long have you been on a jail? 16 months. Yeah. You take the sergeant's test? Uh, not the last time. We'll keep taking it. Shame on you. You take the sergeant's test? You take the sergeant's test? I will. If you, huh? if you want me to take it, I'll take it. I'll become a sergeant. You're from India? Yeah, India. What are you doing here? I just came to America to have a better You're life. passing through? Yeah, I'm passing through, kind of staying here. Why are you in this jail? In California. Why are you here? I don't know. Just What know. were you arrested for? Uh, I'm not saying you're guilty. What were you arrested for? Because my brother called the cops on me for, because uh, I was staying, I was taking energy pills and I was staying awake and stuff, just thinking about her, you know, reminiscing. Oh, you were fighting and going crazy? No, I wasn't fighting or nothing. I was, you were taking there. pills? I was just taking energy pills. I just took an energy pill this morning. What, am, I, am I going to jail here? You don't, you don't go to jail for taking vitamin pills. Anyway, I used to work in that area, Turkey, Mexico, uh, India, Iraq. I used to work there. You know that? How do you know? <laughs> Writing a book? See you later. Good luck. How are you? How you doing? All right. You guys ready to do your time? Yeah. We're doing time. How much? Three months. How much? 27 days. That's nothing. Anybody doing I'm a year? 16 months. Here. You're doing a year? I just got done. Who'd you months. kill? What'd you do? Possession of uh, involving weapons. So you'll be going to the tents? No. Why not? You're this back is all in. working inmates here. We're, we're, we're we work in the tents. No, but they well, said they got me. I'm an alpha graduate. I'm an alpha graduate. I'm right here. You don't want to go to the tents? I was no, it's cold out, it's cold out, out of the tents. We're going to have a baseball bag and maybe a year. Right six, he graduated from Alpha. That's a drug prevention program. We graduated 1,000. Only 7% came back. I don't know. That's, that, only 7% have come back. So you, you're not coming back, right? Huh? You guys work in the kitchen? How's the, why is the food getting better? I was downstairs and one guy... Because I'm cooking. Huh? Because I'm cooking. You're cooking too good. Why do you cook that good? I just, op I just ate the bologna five minutes ago. I ate the bologna. What? Two days ago. I did. It was spoiled? Salami, though. Are you guys don't like the food? Are you paying a dollar a day like you should be? Yes, of course we are. You know we are. You know what it costs to feed you guys? Thanks to you guys doing a great job in the kitchen. The taxpayers love you guys. You know what it costs? It's no, no, it's sixty cents a day. It costs more than our. It costs more to feed our dogs. You know we got. Wait a minute, let me tell you. Oh, the dogs are better than us. That's right. The dogs are a dollar fifteen cents. Where's the other forty cents that we're paying the dog? I thought it was better than the. You should. I mean, if it costs sixty cents. Well, but it goes up. I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 yeah, but it's going to go up. The reason I lost all the weight, you want to know why? I went on your diet. Oh, is that? I I do the same thing you guys eat. My wife cooks. Yeah, same thing. Anyway, hey guys, I hope you get out. Don't ever come back after that three million. You do your year. You'll be in the tents. Well, you all right. You guys go out, be good, and try to get a job. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> one thirty-two in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. One thirty-two in Bush. Covers code three. Kingston. Okay, twenty-five fourteen. Ten transmit on tag two. Okay, we'll still send a code three.